Howdy y'all, this is OBB with another uh, Not Nat NASCAR Diecast review. I'm actually here inside of my car, my nice uh, 2800 Accord. Oh no, and the light just went out. Oh, huh, I need lights, damn it. Walmart, you got any lights? <laughs> but uh, I guess I forgot to charge my lights. So yeah, we're going a little uh, incognito right now, but uh, don't worry, I got some backup lights right here. So apologize for that. I can't believe that just happened. Wow, you never know what's gonna happen when it comes to doing these videos, especially during nighttime. Yeah, um, just ask SpongeBob, you know, at night. But um, yeah, we're here for a uh, new episode of What's in Stores, number 41. Um, and uh, yeah, we got some, uh, it's a pretty busy day, day here on Monday. I'm here outside of a Walmart and we're going to be checking out a Target pretty soon. So we got double, uh, you know, double the trouble on this episode. So Walmart and Targets and I'm on to Springs, Florida. That's where I'm at. So uh, it's not too far from my work. So uh, yeah, I decided why the hell not. We're going to be looking at uh, Wave 7 NASCAR Phoenix 2021. And uh, there's a lot of good cars in this wave. Probably not the best wave, but it's probably my second or third favorite wave because we got ourselves another Larson car. We got some JGR cards and an Eric Jones arm roll car. Oh my God, I'm looking forward to getting that car. And um, I, I believe we do got some new haulers that are out as well, including your 500 champion. But um, yeah, I mean, and hopefully we'll get lucky and find Luke Code Chase Beast. But I'm going to go ahead and shut my lips because I already want to go ahead and bust through these doors and see what we can find in this new episode of What's in Stores. <laughs> Targi. It's Target.
right, guys, so we hit the jackpot, and we got some stuff at Walmart, which is pretty damn cool. And, um, yeah, I mean, um, as you guys see right there, we also went to Target as well. I'm actually outside the Target right now because, uh, yeah, I just uh, I kind of forgot to record to going to Walmart because I was so excited to go to Target, too. So, uh, yeah, we're already into a chaotic episode here. But, uh, yeah, I mean, um, as you guys can see, I was able to find at Walmart, I found most cars from Wave 7. Um, all except for uh, two JGR cars, which I was looking forward to get. Uh, the Kyle Busch Stanley Tools Toyota and the uh, Benny Hamlin Offer Pad. Man, it's a shame they didn't offer that car. God damn, Brian. You really got to stop over these puns. God. I know you're 20, almost 26, but Jesus Christ. You sound like an old man when you do these damn puns. Golly. Anyways. Now I got that out of my system. Let's go ahead and show you the shit I got right here in this nice, beautiful Walmart bag. I mean, yeah, really cool to have plastic bags after being in a, in a state that bans them. Yeah, don't miss you, New York State. But here's the first one right here since I'm a big fan of this guy, and this guy had some shit luck. Um, um, well, I hope the guy doesn't have any shit luck. I mean, I think I, um, I believe I am uh, recording this before the uh, Kansas race, so hopefully Ryan Blaine will have a good time. Um, and get something done right there but um i don't know i keep my words in i don't know we'll be here and i'll be like oh well there we go but here guys go we got ourselves ryan blaney's 2021 body armor car and yeah i did found some body armor actually as well i actually found body armor water which i mean i haven't tried it before but uh yeah body armor man um love this paint scheme a lot to I me mean, it's pretty much exactly the same as uh what like the last year or so but still is pretty cool i mean i still like it a lot better than the dreadful all-star car which you know that was the last time we got a body armor car so really like this one a lot i mean i love the packaging too the packaging with the nice yellow and red i mean goodness gracious um we're definitely gonna have a new change for this for uh, next year because the next gen but still love this car regardless i mean gotta say that because i'm a blaney fan all right let's see what we got right here next one up to go along with that, we got ourselves another Penske diecast, but it is uh, probably one of the final ones that we're going to have for this guy because we don't even know what's going to happen to him next year. Um, Matt DiBenedetto. We got Dean Burrito, guys. Matt DiBenedetto, 2021, a Dutch boy. Oh, boy, yes. Um, I still find it kind of ironic that, you know, this guy is an Italian driver, and yet that is a... Um, we have a dutch sponsor i mean i don't know if it's actually i mean i don't know could you imagine if dutch boy is not actually like dutch like oh everything i know has been lied to i mean heck just ask max verstappen or ari leindyke who are dutch drivers but uh <laughs> but my god guys um what a beautiful diecast this is as you guys can see i love that Menar jello and you, you know i i was waiting on getting this car and the metal chassis version came out of this too and i'm like you know what man as much as I love the metal chassis die cast, I really wanted this uh, hanged up in my wall. Because, you know, you can't really hang up metal chassis die cast, you know. I mean, you could try, but I don't think you'd get too far. And then Lionel and the box is going to be absolutely destroyed if you try to. Yeah, let, let me nail a fucking 164 scale die cast to a box. See how that works. That's what command posts are for, dipshit. But um, <laughs> I'm having too much fun with this review, with this, uh, with this wave review, guys. Um, so, yeah. Um, but, yeah. This is an awesome diecast. I like this a lot. Menard Jello, Dutch Boy. Uh, we finally got this. We finally got the Dutch Boy scheme. Finally, in a 164 scale diecast. Been waiting for that for quite a while now because um, it's always been canceled. I know last year's was canceled, but the 187 got made. But there's no more excuses now. We finally got one, and I am happy about that. All right. And right, next up, I believe we got a few more. All right. Ooh, this is a nice one right here. This is uh, one. This is the only exclusive that we got in this wave, and my light just went out again. Huh. I'm definitely not shining bright like a diamond today. Jesus Christ. Can I turn that light on one more time? I got a feeling I'm going to screw this camera up. But come on, light. Just work with me. Work with me. Yeah, uh, th this is going to be remembered as the episode where OBB fights with this freaking uh, light. <laughs> uh, don't fight the light, damn it. But um, speaking of fighting the light, this is a great die cast I got right here. We got ourselves just now, guys. Brand Agriculture white version. Yes, the white variant. Um yeah, this is a cool die cast, guys, but I can actually say to say this car actually has a Camaro logo. It finally has a Camaro logo for anybody who was like, I don't know, like confused or wondering why I bitched and complained about my, uh, I wouldn't say bitch and complain, but you know, I made some sarcastic remarks on my all guy or um, standard version of 2021. I was like, gee, something's missing on this car. I can't quite put my forehead onto it. Oh, yeah. The Camaro logo. Um, the Camaro warding, actually. I gotta be more specific. It's like, I see a Camaro logo. No, no, I meant the text, dipshits. But, uh, <laughs> cool diecast. Really cool diecast. I, I I love the variation of this car. I mean, we usually don't really see a white base scheme. And from what I can tell so far, quality wise, actually looks, uh, eh, there's a little bit of paint shit where the corn is. But hey, how corny is that? 
I need to get out of here. Good day. <laughs> Just kidding. Um, yeah, awesome diecast. Love this a lot. So looking forward to doing that review on that. All right. Next up, I think these two are probably the best for last, but I don't know which one I could show. So whatever I pull out first. All right. Oh, here we guys go. This one I'm really excited to review. Um, probably going to be one of the first diecasts I'm going to review right away. This is the probably one of the best looking Daytona 500 cars that we got from this year. Eric Jones's armor all car. Look at this shit. Look at this shit. And guys, I am a big fan of armor all because look, I even got fucking armor all in my car as well, even though it looks like it's been into a fucking monsoon. I mean, but uh, yeah, armor all, guys. Look at that. OBB is not sponsored by armor all in any way, shape, or form, but my God, this is a beautiful, beautiful paint scheme. Anybody who is a big fan of Tony Stewart's armor all car from the nationwide and the Bush days and Marcus Ambrose and guys remember John Wood. I mean, so many uh, unique drivers that drove this uh, sponsor and I'm glad that they nailed the orange. The orange is absolutely fantastic. Um, this paint scheme is just amazing. Some people don't really like the white uh, roof, but it, it kind of goes well with the paint scheme. I mean, I don't know what other colors they can use, but holy crap dude i mean this thing i mean this is probably the best orange die cast i've seen and this come from a truex fan guys i like this orange a lot more than truex is for christ's sakes i mean it's just so beautiful man absolutely beautiful i mean Daglo orange is cool but just this armor all orange man it is it is something else man i love this a lot and god that definitely i'm gonna review that sucker right away and the last one up is the guy who has been absolutely just killing it in the nascar cup series i'll be damn shamed if this guy does not want my die cast spell nice job ryan this guy has just been dominant, and I'll be a damn shame if he doesn't win the championship this year because, yeah, you know, the playoffs. I got this car for $5, and I'm glad I got it for $5. And the scalpers, I mean, let's just say I waited because this diecast is going for a boatload of money because people just can't wait. Well, luckily I waited, and I finally got mine. Kyle Larson, TennerCars.com, Chevrolet Camaro, ZL1, 1 LE for Ed Motorsports. Probably the most dominant diecast of this year. When this car came out of Daytona, um, of course, I couldn't go to the, to the, the Daytona night race this year because of moving. Um, the, this car, it went from $12 all the way up to like $60 and $70, $80 from one sixty-four. I said, screw that. I'm going to wait. And then when they made the announcement of Wave 7, I said, I'm going to get this. And I'm lucky I was able to not only get this car, but also the Nation's Guard car. And I highly encourage you guys to pick this up um and beat the scalpers because you know scalpers are the number one enemy when it comes to this channel and um yeah they're just uh no excuse for those uh type of people to you know uh take advantage of uh the shit we love and the shit i love is uh you know reviewing and collecting nascar diecast and uh i was glad i was able to get a nice good bargain for that so can't complain right there but uh yeah and i didn't pick up any haulers like i did on my last one but uh that michael mcdowell hauler looks pretty damn intriguing his day to my uh, champion um which gives me a good feeling. His diecast is coming out soon. We also have the Alex Bowman Best Friends car. Oh, anybody who's a big SpongeBob fan, I'm sure you're going to love that car. You know, best friends forever. <laughs> um, shout out to all my best buds as well who are watching this video. Um, and my light just went off again. So that is probably going to go ahead and cut off right here. So this has been OBB, the diecast news guy. And hopefully, to God, I have enough juice left to make it home. So, <laughs> but see you guys next time on another What's the Stores video. And uh, see you guys back in the review station very soon.